actually did that and was talking to me at the same time. And I didn't even know he had a razor in his mouth. That's how concealed it was in between his cheek and gum. But I put my shit on my dick. You know what I'm saying? I put my shit on my dick. Until this day, my wife be bugging. My girl, I tell her the story, she be like, you was really crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, circus style. So, you know, you can put your, peel your dick, your, your skin of your dick back. And I put the razor over my, over, over the skin of my dick. You know what I'm saying? When the practice came searching me, all that bullshit, spread your fucking wings and, you know, your hands and all this bullshit and all that, the razor was on my dick. Just a daily routine. Once you fuck with this shit, this is your life. You live it, you walk it, you talk it. You know, the officers got hit to, you know, putting the razor blade in their mouth. So what they would do was take Vaseline, stick their hand in the Vaseline, and stick the Vaseline in their asshole, take the razor blade, find a piece of plastic, wrap the razor blade with plastic, and force the razor blade in their ass. If you go inside a facility, you don't clear the mag, what happens is they put you under observation for 72 hours. It was one day, they may walk through the magnometer and it activated, so we made him take his belt off, cigarettes out, and put it on the, uh, you know, the garbage can so we could search him. Then they walked through again. It kept ringing. And when you're under that observation inside that room, they got cameras on you, got a pig on you, watching you, watching your shit. You know what I'm saying? Putting his hands through your shit like he's some type of freak. The captain, you know, ordered him to pull his pants down and bend down, and squat, and spread your ass cheeks. You get stripped, you know what I'm saying, in your birthday suit. You strip down to your birthday suit. And the first thing they tell you is to pass your fingers through your head. Go back and waist, bring your fingers through your head. Make sure there ain't nothing in your head if you have hair. You know, cock your ears. You know what I'm saying? Lift up your nut. You know what I'm saying? Separate your nuts from your dick. Make sure there ain't nothing take you there. And then turn around and actually crack your ass. Turn around, spread your cheeks with both hands at the same time. Feet. You know what I'm saying? They let this individual look at your ass. You actually turning around and cracking your ass for this in another man to look at your ass. So they might they may bend down and spread his ass cheeks and you know just lo and behold, they seen some stuff in his ass. So it was like, well, what do you got in your ass? So then um, the inmate put his hands in his ass and pulled out. You know, shit was covered in plastic and just threw it on the floor and boom, damn razor blade came right out of there. The clearest way I can explain it, man, is it's for animals in there, man. When a brother go to jail, man, don't mean he's imprisonment, man. Imprisonment is your mind, it's a frame of mind, man. I always say slavery ended a long time ago. But when I stepped inside, like this out, and it's probably going on in other prisons too, I think that is the highest slavery rank up in there. I went to Africa and I went to the Elmina slave dungeons. That's where they used to keep the slaves in actual pens until the ships came to take them to other plantations to wherever they needed them. Human beings who can think and feel were reduced to the status of domestic animals and packed in these dungeons like books stacked on shelves. They are so much crammed over here that some of them suffocated to death, some starved to death. As I walked through the corridors, the same corridors that the slaves walked down, you know, I had visions of when I used to work at Rikers Island, like the same, the same corridors that the inmates used to walk down. Over here, there was a guard here to watch the movement of the captives. Excuse me, gentlemen, keep it down. And I um, actually went inside one of the slave pens and I looked around and I circled around and um, it just took me right back to Rikers Island to where they used to house the inmates, put them together the same way inside these pens. But the buses used to come and take them up north to other penitentiaries to wherever they needed these inmates. They didn't know what was happening. They didn't know that they were being sold into slavery. Just imagine being captured in a war, being dragged down the coast here and then put into chains and shackles to be taken to the new world. Jail is modern slavery. It's all, it's all racist. 
and it's all politics. And like I said before, it's all about paper. You know what I mean? The more I lock you up, the more money you make. You get your wake up call as soon as they slap the motherfucking cuffs on you and you know you gotta go through that shit. You don't want to go to jail, dogs. It's not smooth, man. That's for birds. For real. A motherfucker will stun on you and will blast you in a minute. An inmate has to hit rock bottom before he realizes, listen, this is not for me, man. And that's when he realizes, listen, enough is enough for me. I have to do something to stop coming through, coming in and out these doors here. And when he started doing that, we started realizing that, there's a change that'll come in his life where he just stopped wanting to come inside the penitentiary and start going the other direction. I'm just one of the fortunate men that I'm blessed to be here. You know what I'm saying? I could, I, I, could, I could actually wake up every morning and say, thank you, Jesus. You cannot forget for a moment that environment. The moment you forget that environment, you back in there. Right here in my own project, in my own neighborhood, I was able to come and interview brothers around here who did 15 years, 20 years, 17 years, 10 years in prison and just alone doing tapings, I probably did over 200 years in prison. Meaning I take over 200 years of, of, in, in, of, of inmates in prison just amongst my friends right here in this neighborhood.